Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to my last Harriers video of the season. It is my end of season roundup for the 2016-17 season. Now, as you'll see on my channel, I've vlogged pretty much every Harriers home match as I'm a big Kid Winston Harriers fan, as well as a few away matches. It's been a really successful season, so let's get into the roundup. So first of all, let's look at the final league table. So after 42 games in the National League North, Harriers finished in second place on 82 points with 25 victories, 7 draws and 10 losses with a goal difference of 35. So that's a really successful season in my opinion. In my pre-season prediction for the National League North, I predicted a ninth place finish for Harriers. So that's significantly better than I was predicting. So the top scorer this season was Arthur Ganoa. He is our left winger and he scored 15 goals from 44 games. Our record appearance maker was Jordan Tunnicliffe who in all competitions played 52 matches. Absolutely outstanding achievement, he has pretty much played every single game. In the FA Cup we got to the first round proper, we played against Blackpool away in the first round proper. It was a great FA Cup run, obviously it doesn't emulate the likes of Sutton and, and Lincoln City who got to the fifth round and sixth round. So, in my opinion, the best game from this season was a three-all home draw back in October versus AFC Fylde. It, it was a game that swung both ways. We took the lead early on through Arthur Gunnar, I think it was, then Danny Rowe scored for Fylde, to take it one, one all at half-time, then we took the lead just, just after half-time to 2-1, and then Fylde scored twice to put it to 3-2, and then right at the end, Keith Lowe got an equaliser in about the 88th minute to make it three-all. It was, I think, first versus second at the time, of which that's obviously how the season finished as well. First versus second, Fylde versus Kidderminster. So it was an it was an absolutely awesome game. Two teams that play really good football, and in my opinion, anyway, the two best sides in the league battling it out, and it was a really entertaining match. The worst game of the season was our two 0 playoff defeat in the semi-finals to Chorley at Agra last Sunday. It was an absolutely crushing, crushing defeat. The whole season we've been working up towards the playoffs pretty much. We had been in the title challenge, but the playoffs were still the more realistic chance of us getting promoted. And it was a crushing, crushing defeat, especially as we went away to Chorley back on Wednesday night and got a victory in the first leg away from home. And our away form this season has not been amazing, but our home form has been absolutely brilliant. We have the best home record in the league this season. We got 50 points from 21 home matches. So I thought we'd get the job done at home. We didn't manage to do it, and to lose it in the 93rd minute as well was absolutely gutting. So now on to my player awards, and the award for the most improved player of the season goes to Jordan Tunnicliffe. He's been at the club for three years now. He's been in and out of the team. He's never really held down his first team spot until this season really. He was out on loan at the end of last season to Sutton Coldfield so he thought his time at Harriers was over but he's come back this season rejuvenated, refreshed and he has been outstanding for us. As I said earlier he has made the most appearances out of anyone in the Harriers squad and he's just been absolutely brilliant. I really hope we can get him signed up for next season. He hasn't signed a new contract yet but I wouldn't be surprised if there were teams from high levels coming in for him. Now for the best young player of the season award and that will go to Ryan Crowsdale. He's a young defensive midfielder, he's 22 years old and joined in late August. He's played 43 games since he's joined, pretty much every game since he's arrived and he's been absolutely excellent at breaking up the play. Our player of the season, number one, is James McWilkin. He got my vote for player of the season when the official votes were being cast up at Agra a few weeks ago and he actually won that competition as well. He's just, he's just an absolutely awesome player, gives 100% every game, brilliant passer, he's got about 20 assists, 8 goals, something like that. Absolutely awesome player this season for us. So in terms of our squad for next year, these are the players that have been signed up. So we have Keith Lowe, James McQuilkin, Sam Austin, Danny Linty, Liam Truslove, Andre Brown, Kennedy Diggy, Jono Brown, Ben Clark. Ryan Crowsdale and Joe Ironside. So there's a number of key players already signed up, particularly Crowsdale, Lowe, Ironside and McQuilkin. Those four are really important to our team, so it's good to have a good nucleus already signed up. The rest of the team have been offered contracts. Everyone pretty much has been offered a contract except for Manny Di Sarivwe, Josh Eswele, Jared Hodgkiss, George Forsyth, George Taylor, Wayne Thomas, Dan Sweeney and James Hancock. So a lot of those are youth team players that haven't really played much this season. So I'm pretty happy with the players that have been uh, been released. Jared Hodgkiss is the big one. He's probably our highest paid player. He's not really played much this season uh, from right back. He was our captain last season, and you know he's he's 
I think we could probably save a lot of money on his wages because our budget is not as big as people think it is. And then our three loanees, Alex Palmer, Sam Hornby and Emmanuel Snoope have returned to their parent clubs. We will be keeping a close eye on their situations because Harry has apparently want to bring all three back. I think of the players that we have offered new contracts to, the ones that are really crucial to keep, I think Jordan Tunnicliffe is the most crucial, then there's Elton and Guatala and Arthur Ganoa, our two sort of X-Factor players, our real flair players. If they stay, then that would be great, but they're probably more likely to leave. Zane Francis Angle, he's probably quite likely to leave as well from left back, but I'd love him to say he's been excellent this season. So despite us losing in the playoff semi-finals with a goal conceded in the last minute of the second leg, there's been a lot of positives to this season and overall it's been a successful campaign in my opinion. The first one is that we have played absolutely great football all season. We pass the ball around, maintain possession, our possession stats must be insane because we just keep the ball, very rarely give it away and we don't just lump it long to a 6 foot 7 striker. <coughs> Darlington! <coughs> wow, bad cough, sorry about that. But yeah, our football has been really entertaining to watch and that's something that us Harriers fans have really enjoyed this season. Also that this football has been played by young players that are developing and will move on to bigger and better things. So it's nice that we're part of that production line to bring players in and then develop, develop them and sell them on to higher level clubs. It's nice to see that happen. Another positive is that we've adapted to the National League North really, really well. Compared to the likes of Altrium who completely flopped in the National League North, did not deal with the step down. We've adapted really well. Other positives made it to the FA Cup first round. We had the best home record in the league, 50 points from 21 games, better than any other team in the National League North. We also set a new club record for the number of consecutive home victories. We won 13 games in all competitions this season in a row, so that was just an unbelievable record and it is a new record since before World War II. And in my opinion, one of the biggest things that we've progressed in this year is off the pitch. We're not in an absolute financial mess anymore like we were 12, 18 months ago because it was really looking bleak at that point and we could have folded quite easily. But Colin Gordon has come in, made a big impact and we are now looking up. We're now we're looking up, we're not looking down and it's really positive and there's a lot of ambition behind this club. Now there are some negatives to this season as well. First of all, we've been quite naive at times, especially a good example of that was in the second leg of the playoffs. We did not settle into that game very well and we persisted with our nice style of football but in that situation we need to be a lot more ruthless put away our chances and just focus on winning the game rather than just playing nice football so there are times where we have been playing the nice football where we should have been a lot more ruthless but in general the nice football has served as well the big negative that a lot of people will see is that we failed in the playoffs for me i don't think the success of the season was defined by what happened in the playoffs it's an opportunity to get promoted but i think that long-term success is inevitable with Harriers and I really do believe that because the, the work that's been got going on off the pitch is setting the club up to succeed long term. We're still a work in progress, still improving a lot off the pitch so the future is bright for Harriers. Next season is also going to be a lot tougher with Salford going full time, Harrogate going full time, York City, Southport and North Ferry coming down with the likes of Spennymore, Blythe Spartans coming up. It's going to be a very tough league next season. But overall, we've got a big summer ahead. Hopefully we can make some good signings in the next couple of months. I'm not expecting any particularly soon. I'd rather us wait for the right players to become available because we've got a good squad assembled already. So I hope you've enjoyed this season of me vlogging Harriers matches. If you want to see that continue for next season, then click that like button and subscribe. But this is the last time we're wearing this Harrier shirt this season. It's been a good shirt. I do like it as a shirt, to be fair. I hope the next season's shirt is going to be just as nice. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.